Hello everyone! Today I will be showing you a critter location guide for all of the reef critters in Hello Kitty Island Adventure. To make my critter hunt a little easier, I'm going to go into one of my cabins and use the mirror feature to change my outfit. I'm going to put on the critter catching vest. You can buy this in Tuxedo Sam's shop, but you also do get one um, when you complete one of the quests with Karopi. And I dyed mine to be like a darker palette with black and browns, and this is because I'm also going to put on my mermaid tail pants, which turn into a mermaid tail when I'm underneath the water. Um, and I dyed that black as well so that my tail would be black and so it has more of a cohesive color palette. I'm going to put these two on because if I'm not mistaken, the vest actually has the same kind of effect as it would if you took Karofi as a companion. So it slows down the critters a little bit, which is really helpful because I'm not super great with the bubble wand. But if that's not true and you want to make 100% sure, just grab Karopi with you when you go to catch your critters. And I also put on the mermaid tail because I last longer underneath the water. I can breathe a little bit longer and my stamina lasts a little bit longer. So I'm going to start off catching my critters that way. Okay, so the first critter that we're going to catch is the barna beetle. This critter was really hard for me to find. It was one of the ones I did not have initially, but it can be found in the water right off of Mount Hothead, like that shallow water off of Mount Hothead and then near or adjacent to the pirate ship. So this is me using the bubble wand to catch it. I was super excited to find this barn beetle. It took me a long time to get it. The next critter on the list is the Sapphire Sea Pony, which is a really easy critter to find. If you just swim around the comedy club, one should appear. Like I said, I'm not really great with the bubble wand. As you can see, I'm clicking a bunch of times and I somehow always seem to miss, but one thing I'm learning is if you just give it some time, usually the bubble will kind of float or find its way towards the critter and you'll catch one eventually. Or maybe you're just better with the bubble wand than I am. The next critter is close by and it's the crustacean. You can find it by just swimming right behind the comedy club and toward the visitor cabins. There should be one or even a few there. Next is the Dream Shell Drifter. These can be found in the kelp maze and also near the pirate ship. However, I feel like the most reliable location to find them is in the kelp maze. Another critter that can be found in the kelp maze is the Wally Pog. Something to note about this critter though is that it can only be found in the daytime. To find the rest of our critters, we're going to go back to our cabin and use the bed to change the time of day to nighttime. The first critter that I'm going to go ahead and get is in the trench right off of Gemstone Mountain. And you're definitely going to need the mermaid tail for this one to increase your stamina because you're going to be doing some deep diving down into this trench to get the rainbow rivetler. The next one can be found around the sunken pirate ship at night, and that is the Inky Blooper. Okay you guys, this next one took me so long to find. It is the Slug Nautica. This can be found in this kind of underwater ravine right near Hopscotch Island. I want to give a huge shout out to Corgi Cutie on Reddit because I searched high and low for the Slug Nautica and I could not find it anywhere. 
but I found their post on Reddit and I was able to find it. So huge shout out to them. Thank you so, so much. Once you have caught all of your critters, my favorite thing to do is go into the nature preserve and donate them. You can approach the knoll and you can see all of the critters I have in my inventory and you can donate them to the rainbow reef section of the nature preserve. This is also a great way to check and see if you have caught all of the critters from that section. And it's just really cool to see that area filled up with all of your critters and it'll tell you how many it currently has. Earlier in the game, you would have found each critter list for each section of the island. So you can actually click on this in the nature preserve. And like I said, just check and see, have I found every critter in each section and how many have I already donated? Thank you so much for watching, which critter list would you like to see next?